Winter Field Day. A chance to test your mettle against the harsh conditions of late January. An opportunity to challenge your skills and experience to evaluate your ability to operate in less than ideal conditions. Well, at least in some parts of the country. Join us in South Texas, where we will look to answer the questions, do you need sunscreen when it's 50 degrees? How many hams and hoodies does it take to pull off winter field day? Our winter field day weather was not quite that perfect. That blue sky video was actually recorded the day after our field day on Galveston Island. Oh yeah, we will learn more about lining up the meatball with the donut later in the video. But all things considered, we had little to complain about in terms of weather. Galveston Island State Park is a beautiful park with great facilities. It's a perfect location to pull double duty of winter field day and a parks on the air activation. Here you can see some of the grounds next to our pavilion. And yes, that is the ocean just on the other side of the sand dunes. Between Jason, Ham Radio 2.0, the very shy K8MRD, Ham Radio Tube, <laughs> Windows sucks. Frank, Tank Radio, and Noel, we had four Oscar HF covered. So what was I going to bring to the table for our team? I decided to dust off my Elk 220 antenna and some LMR 400 to see if we could add some extra bands to our tally. In addition to the guying for the mast, I have an extra cord that lets me adjust the antenna direction and maintain the heading by spiking it to the ground. Here, I am pointed due north. I set up the Alinko DR-235. It is resting on my Winlink kit, which I also use during the event. And you can also see my ID-50 in the background. A quick radio check with Jason when he ran Electro back to the house, and we were ready to rock on 220. I also had my satellite kit on hand. And here are some highlights from the passes I live streamed on Saturday. Right about uh, over there, like I said, this is 72 degrees, so this this guy is going to go high in the air, and uh, we should finish right over there in that direction, pointed right at our winter field day uh, setup. There, you guys can see we've got a hex beam set up for winter field day. We've got a couple of other antennas. Uh, we've got some VHF, UHF set up. I've got some 220 set up. We're going to try to get some 220 contacts. So we got a lot of stuff going on here today. This is uh, Grid Square Echo Lima 29. Yeah, I'm with you, man. Um, get as far south as you can get for winter field day. That's what I say. X-ray Echo 1, Echo Kilo, W5 ITR, Echo Lima 29, roving. X-ray Echo 1, Echo Tango, I copy. Can I get your grid, please? 7-3, thanks for the contact. X-ray Echo 1, Hector, uh, Echo Victor Papa, I copy. I am in Echo Lima 29 today. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit behind the bird. 
You guys need to remind me. W2NNU, W5ITR, Echo Lima 29. W5ITR, India Tango Romeo. Uh, ITR, India Pop Radio. Tango, Tango Radio, India Tango Radio, Echo Lima 29. Echo Mike 41, Roger, thank you. Started pointing toward uh, all these uh, telephone poles and things got noisy. W5 ITR, Echo Lima 29. There's nothing to say you can't move when you work in a satellite. Just make sure you reorient yourself to the satellite afterwards. All right, we're moving. We're gonna try to get the last part of this pass. W4KSY, I copy. I'm Echo Lima 29 today, Terry. We're getting toward the end of the pass here. We're 20 degrees above horizon, so we should still be able to get some contacts. W4KSY, W5ITR, Echo Lima 29. Well, we might uh, just be running into too much junk. Here we go, let's try this. W4KSY, W5ITR, Echo Lima 29. Oh, good, Terry. I'm glad you got it there. I heard you good. I'm glad you finally uh, picked me up. Hopefully this is a grid you needed. Let me, uh, let me walk up here and uh, just uh, give you guys a quick orientation to our winter field day while I'm here. Uh, X-ray Echo 1 Yankee Delta Kilo, yep. Echo Kilo 09. Hopefully uh, EL29 was a new grid for you. All right, let me make sure I stay out of these guy wires. Bill! Hey. We got uh, we got everyone here. Let me switch the camera around so you guys can see everyone else a little bit better. There we go. Just finished up a SO50 pass, so I thought I'd bring everybody in so they could see our winter field day setup. Hi, folks. Lots of, uh, lots of wind. Lots of wind. Yeah, there's no uh, no shortage of wind. Mike, traveling ham. Scott, how you doing? Good. 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 We got. Look at that rig right there. That's an awesome camera rig, man. It is. It is. It's good to see the tank. See, we got everybody in here. I see uh, Mike N8YO over there pounding the paddles. So uh, maybe you'll be able to, um, Kyle, maybe you'll be able to hear Mike down here. I think he's working the club call. Jason, what's the club call? KN5TR. KN5TR. So if you guys want to try to work uh, work us down here, um, we'll be working for quite a while. We'll be working 10, 15, 20, and 40 meters. And hopefully some more satellites. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. This is an International Space Station pass. Ham Radio Crusader in the house. Nice. Thanks for joining the stream. All right, let's see here. All right, we're gonna to try to work a 30 degree International Space Station pass here from Galveston State Park. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick peek here. I've got uh, the winter field day set up right behind me. And this is actually a winter field day objective this year. Hey, 45. Uh, I did an ISS pass yesterday and it was wicked busy. I am guessing that this is going to be similar. Uh, first of all, because it's uh, ISS Pass, they're always busy. Second of all, because it's Winter Field Day, and there are not a lot of great passes within the daylight hours of Winter Field Day today. So if we've got others that are trying to um, uh, check off this objective, this is likely going to be the pass they're going to try it on. A really nice state park. They've got really nice facilities. Um, 
the bathrooms, all the pavilions, they're all really new, really nice. They've got great outdoor showers here. Yep, we're gonna try again, JB. This is an official pass for winter field day. So this is to complete the objective. All right, we've got about 20 seconds. I've got my handy uh, backup recorder here. We've got some company here hey. today. So Shane, we've got a west to north pass. So we should pick up the ISS right around here. And it should go, like and it should go right like this. So we're gonna point in the general direction here. But what I like to do is I like to put this right along the boom because then it, you see that circle? See it, yeah. Yep, yep, see how that lines up? So you're lining up the, uh, the meatball. Yep, lining up the meatball. Oh, really? Yep. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. Very nice. <laughs> hey, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I've got a few structures out there, so I'm not expecting to hear too much in the early part of the pass here. Is this an elk? Antenna? This is an elk antenna. So sure is. We got Bill antenna. back here as well. Hey, Bill. Oh, we got a Frank and here as mics. well. <laughs> mics, mics, mics. We got another mic over there as well. So we got uh, we got a whole sounder of hogs here. So do you still or hams? Have, do you still have the whole polarity thing? You with do. The elk as you did with the, yep. I have the arrow antenna. Yep, yep. Same, same issue. It's twice as big as this, and it's KB or uh, K five YB by is out there uh, heckling Are everybody. You live? Yeah, oh, this is live streaming. <laughs> Hey, Joe! <laughs> you missed me on 10 meters. Sorry, buddy. The ISS repeater. Oh. Oh. I think I know that call. W5ITR, Echo Lima 29, roving. Boy, you got um, you got down in my noise there. Could you come back one more time, please? Let's see, make sure I'm on the ball. All right, I got you there. Delta Mike 43, I copied you that time and I got you on the recorder, so I feel pretty good. I think I got you in the log. Thanks so much, 7-3. Romeo Delta Golf, W5 ITR, Echo Lima 29. Delta Golf, International Space Station, Kilo 7, Romeo Delta Golf. Kilo 7, Romeo Delta Golf, W5 ITR, Echo Lima 29. Kilo 7, Romeo Delta Golf, calling the International Space Station. He only wants, he's only trying to get an astronaut. Kilo 7, Romeo Delta Golf. He could have a bad day. Um, that was uh, Triple E. That's Randall. Uh, what's his full call? Um, KI5. KI5. Correction, KR5. Echo, echo, echo. There it is, KR5. Okay, KR5, Triple E. Kilo 8, Yankee, Sierra, Echo, Stroke 7, Delta Mike 43. USL, thanks. KR5, Triple E, W5, ITR, Echo Lima 29. All right, Randall, I got you in the log. ITR, Whiskey Delta 5, Golf, Romeo Whiskey, Echo Mike 13. Echo Mike 13, I copy. I am Echo Lima 29 today. All right, I'm turning off the radio. We got a couple there, so we're official for Winter Field Day. We've met the objective. Let me get the recorder stopped. Uh, so we got Randall. Uh, that was cool. We got Randall in the log. And, um, oh, I forget that first contact. Um, but we got at least two there. So that's, uh, that's the name of the game. Sometimes you get two. Sometimes you get five. Sometimes you get none. So that's all part of it. With that, Winter Field Day 24 comes to a close for our crew in South Texas. Regardless of your latitude, What's important is that you get out and operate, practice radio, spend time with fellow hams. Oh, and yes, sunscreen is always a good idea regardless of the temperature, and apparently it takes seven hams and hoodies to pull off a South Texas winter field day. 
Thanks for watching and until next time, 7-3.